In this lesson, we're gonna be talking about the ideal finger drumming pad controller. So what makes the ideal pad controller for finger drumming? Well, I've been playing finger drums for eight years and I've been playing acoustic drums for five years before that. So what really is most important, actually the only important thing in a uh, finger drumming pad controller are the pads. That's it. Nothing else really matters when it comes to finger drumming like we're teaching it here at Dragon Finger Drums, and that is playing the finger drums, playing the pads like a percussion instrument, like it's drums, you know? So I have a Machine Micro MK3. I've previously owned a Machine Micro MK2. I've owned a full-size Machine MK3. Uh, I've tried pad controllers from Akai, the MPC, for example. This is my favorite pad controller because of the pad quality is so incredible for me. Of all the pad controllers I've tried, these pads are the very best, they're the most responsive, they're the most smooth feeling, and you get a lot of very nice, tight, precise dynamics and articulation out of them. But with that being said, this Machine Micro is small, but it, in my mind, it could be even smaller for my purposes. You know, it has all these extra features, all these buttons and, you know, this knob and it, all of this stuff. You may notice if you watch my videos, I've never touched any of these things except for the pads. And that's because, again, the way that I play finger drums and the way that we're trying to teach finger drums is not as a beat making device, but as a way to actually play the drums, you know? So for our purposes, again, the only thing that really matters are the pads and their quality. So all sorts of pad controllers will have all sorts of different extra features. You know, again, the, mach the, the full-sized machine MK3 is this plus an extra, you know, it's very big. It's got screens, it's got a, a bunch more knobs and, and other features that can be used to control software. And that's great. Um, there's a lot of cool extra features on these controllers you know, really cool, but we don't need them necessarily. It depends on what you want out of your controller. So for finger drumming, you want great pads, but let's say you're a producer and you also want a bunch of functionalities to control your software. That's something else to take into consideration and it's totally personal. So when it comes to the pads for finger drumming, it's the sensitivity that's absolutely crucial. Do they feel good to play? Do they pick up hits accurately? Not just do they pick up hits at all, but do they pick them up accurately? So if I play a very soft hit, is it going to register a soft hit? If I play a very hard hit, is it going to register a hard hit? And can I do that consistently at a high speed, you know, so to where it's actually registering every hit accurately and I can play fast rolls with a lot of soft hits and some hard accent hits, you know, because there are some pad controllers out there that just can't do something like that. But to that point, when it comes to buying your controller, if you're just focused on finger drumming the way we're teaching it, you don't need an expensive controller. You just need good pads. And that's actually why I used to have a full-size machine MK3 as my primary device. And I switched to the micro because it's smaller, it's more compact. It has the same pads and I just didn't need the extra features. So I genuinely opted to get a cheaper pad controller just because it's smaller, it costs less, it was easier for me to use and I can throw it in my backpack very easily. So for you, you know, if you're looking into different pad controller brands or if you have a pad controller right now, you know, but you want to get something better, look at something that has great pads. I can tell you from my personal experience trying lots of different pad controllers, the machine is the very best. They're just the best out of all of them. Um, and so the Micro is the cheapest machine that you can get. Right now, at the time of recording this, it's a little under 300 US dollars for one machine Micro. It does come with a bunch of software though and a bunch of cool samples, um, you know, some, some good synth VSTs and stuff. So it's definitely worth the price. Even just for the pads, it's worth the price. If you really think about it, a drummer who's playing a drum kit, they can't get away with getting their drums for less than $300, you know? They, they need a whole kit of drums, right? It, the, the worst quality drums in the world are gonna cost $300, and that's not including cymbals, okay? The worst quality cymbals in the world are gonna cost another 100 bucks for a pack, but really it's gonna be $100 per cymbal if you want decent cymbals. So that's another maybe 500. And then, you know, you need your hardware, you need your kick pedal, you need your hi-hat stand with the pedal, um, you need your cymbal stands, that's gonna run you another few hundred dollars. You need good drum heads and you need to replace drum heads as they wear. You need to replace drum sticks. You'll even need to replace cymbals eventually. So being a drummer, even just to start, you're talking about probably a thousand dollars. And then to continue every year, you're spending probably thousands more to uh, 
improve and uh, replace parts on your drum kit. For a finger drummer, we can spend $300 once every few years. I personally have owned several different machine micros and they've each lasted me about two to three years before I really felt like, okay, these pads are very worn. And that's with my heavy, high level of playing. I play really fast and I play a lot. So, you know, with someone who's not playing as intensely as me or as often as me could last them five, six years on just, uh, you know, a $300 controller. So that's actually incredible when you think about it. If it feels like that's too expensive, if you'd rather get a $100 controller, if that's really all you can afford, totally fine. Just make sure you research what are the pads like and try to find the $100 controller that has the best pads. That's all that matters at that point. But if you can get up to that $300 mark, consider, you know, it, it really does justify the price because it'll last you a very long time. As opposed to maybe in that same three year period, you'd need to buy three different $100 controllers, you know, because they might wear out much faster. So with all that being said, the ideal hardware, the ideal controller is just something with great pads. That's all that matters. There are many other features, many other softwares, all sorts of things that these can come bundled with. But again, that's totally a personal thing. It's up to you uh, and in determining what exactly you're looking for in addition to finger drumming capacities. But that's pretty much it when it comes to finding the ideal pad controller for finger drumming.